Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of British vs. American. Today, featuring none other than... Me! Luke Cutforth. Wow. Thank welcome to the show. Also, today's video is brought to you by Licked, so you'll be hearing more about that in the middle of the video. Luke here is my only friend that I think is knowledgeable about taxes. <laughs> Just knowledgeable. Just knowledgeable. <laughs> and there. Today's video is about taxes. Sounds really sexy. I know. It very much is. Taxes are not sexy. Is not sexy. That's the that's the hashtag. <laughs> Many of my friends when they turn 18 or they become self-employed, like friends I have who are like creative or artistic, they'll be like trying as hard as they can to avoid paying tax, right? Which is something you should not, Which is not do. Yeah, absolutely. And I, my advice I always give to them is... When I was starting to earn money, I was like, oh no, I've got to pay tax. And as soon as I started paying tax, I just felt much better because it was like so much less anxiety. Yes, yes. Just just pay it. Felt like I was contributing to the world. This is not like sponsored by the Queen. Her Majesty's Royal ch 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 Currency? What's HMRC? HMRC. Her Majesty's, Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. Revenue and Customs. That's who <laughs> you pay money to. Her Majesty's Royal Currency. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, though? Yeah. The IRS or the HMRC? Oh, IRS. Yeah. <laughs> the IRS is how we bring down our biggest, like, criminals. HMRC, like, in my experience, and I've paid tax as an individual and also as a business, mm -hmm. they've always actually been really helpful. They're, like, pretty good. I mean, I'm sure they're unpleasant if you've got a big tax bill and they're coming after you. But, like... They worked with me when I had an issue where I was late, and they were quite polite about it. Yeah, you've got, like, stories about the IRS from America, and I'm just like... That's terrifying. If we're just going to start on income tax, when you get taxed on the money that you make, yeah. how does the PAYE, how does that work? Right, so I've never had PAYE. Pay as you earn? Pay as you earn, yeah. PAYE is what you'd have if you're employed. and Full-time job type thing. Yeah, and you're employed, yeah. and part-time. Okay. But your employer is doing your tax return for you, and you get a PAYE slip, which basically says to you, this is what you earned, and this is how much tax you paid. Have a nice day. And you net the key thing is is that the money that you get taxed mm -hmm. never enters your bank account. So when we're like YouTubers, we get paid Oh yes, yes, yes. Like a thousand pounds for something and we will owe tax on the thousand pounds and it's our job to keep that money separate and eventually pay it to Her Majesty. Yes. And when you, with PAYE, it's much easier and you never see the money that you're paying in tax. Yes, when I've had full-time jobs, I was very surprised. So in April, I just get a letter from HMRC saying, hey, you paid your taxes, this is how much you paid. Yeah. Hope you have a nice life, see you next year. And I'm so used to having to yeah. file a giant form. Yeah. And have people paid to do it, so I was very surprised. With PAYE as well, by the way, one thing you get sometimes, which is what my dad gets, because my mum is only part-time employed and she has her own personal allowance, mm -hmm. but they're married, so their personal allowance is it's conjoined. Together. Yeah. But that's not calculated by the employer. So at the end of every tax year, my dad gets a check for like quite a bit of money. Oh. For like the money, like a, like a few grand or something. Because it's tax that he paid that could come out of my mum's personal allowance. And we get a nice little tax rebate. So my dad gets a little bit of extra money every year because the tax man is not very good at their job. <laughs> Wait, and does they only he, do it once a year. <laughs> do, does he have to tell them that no. he overpaid? So he, he was getting this for two or three years and he was like, why do they keep giving me money? I don't understand. So in the US, you have to file income taxes every year. It's called the 1040 or the 1040 EZ, the 1040A. I think they've just replaced it with just you the 1040. You have to file your own taxes. Of course you have to file your own taxes. What do you mean, of course? Well, what's annoying is the government and the IRS actually do know how much you've been paid, but they, they just want to know that you know. So you have to tell them. It's, it's quite upset. It's a bit complicated. At the end of your year, you basically need to add up. I actually have for your viewing pleasure. So here we have the 2018 individual tax return. Oh, here's a fun fact. 90% of people that get their taxes done have it prepared by someone else in the US. 90%. 90%. So one out of every 10 people does it themselves. So this is mad. So the equip what's going on here is that basically when you're employed in the UK, mm -hmm. part of the business is yeah. paying for an accountant to do your PAYE for you that so that you don't have to pay to have it done because it's not your responsibility. It's the employer's responsibility. In the US, they've just gone, business is king and then made all these like individual people pay for accountants yeah, well that's awful yeah so there's a load of like tax filing companies there's h and r block you can get a private accountant but you kind of need one because they are able to find you the best amount of money back so no matter what you will work with someone who's like oh did you uh possibly spend money on a charitable contribution right they then write that as a deductible yeah and then you get a huge amount of cash back. So the key thing here is that in the UK, if you are employed under PAYE, yeah. you don't get to deduct things like your petrol bills or like your stationery oh. or stuff like that. So as self-employed people, if I buy a camera, I can deduct 
the cost of the camera off of my income. Because that's a business expense. Because it's a business expense. And they hope that if I invest in stuff, I'll make more money and eventually pay more tax, right? Yeah. I've done the TurboTax myself, which is still a software to help. And it's not fun, especially because I'm an expat. So not only do I have to file US taxes every year, even though I don't live there, yeah. I have to file the standard form, the self-employed form, and the form for people that live abroad. And that one is quite fun. Why do you think that consumers have to file their own taxes? I'm guessing there was some deregulation law passed by a bad Mildly president. Mildly correct. It's, it's actually lobbying oh, by great. the tax filing companies. Oh my God. Even though they have all the technology and everything should be fine to That's have awful. people not have to file their own taxes, yeah. the tax filing company is like, whoa, nobody, nobody wants to not do their taxes. That's a fun eight hours of their day. And so... That's mad. Yes, very That's great. real mad. Because we can file for deductibles, people get very creative on yes. what is a business sure, expense. Sure. Yeah, um, I, have, I have friends who used to claim for like t-shirts because they were like, I wore them in a video, therefore it's a tax that is really bad. That's yeah. a bit shifty. Yeah, I, I mean, that, is, that exists in the creative industries, I think. I've, I've always been pretty, like, very honest with my taxes, actually. Same. Um, I don't because I just the, don't think yeah. it's worth the no. the anxiety. Don't be Yoshi. You know, pay pay your taxes. Do you know what the mortgage interest deductible is? It's pretty if cool. If you buy a nice big size home, it promotes people to buy their own homes. The interest that you have on the loan, you can write off completely. Yeah. So it encourages more people to just buy really more cool. homes. That's really cool. It oh, was, more homes. Well, it works only up to two homes. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, I mean, I mean, like, sure. So if you get a mortgage of two hundred fifty k for your home. Yeah at a standard 4.3% interest, you're basically gonna be spending $6,336 a year on interest alone. Wow. So that then could hopefully bring you down a tax bracket. Wow. That's, that's a lot of money. That's good. Now that was actually a thing in the UK, I did find out. Oh yes, the United Kingdom introduced a scheme called the Miras in 1983, and it allowed mortgage interest to be tax deductible but then it was abolished in 2000. <laughs> it's not a thing anymore. <laughs> well, thanks for that <laughs> dangling a bit of heaven in front of me and then going, you're never gonna own a, own a house. And even if you do, you'll be paying lots of tax. Correct. The way that the US income tax works is similar to the UK in that it is... Tiered? Tiered, it's a tiered system. Oh, okay, it's called good. progressive tax. Yeah. We're very progressive. Not quite. So <laughs> in the UK, what is the amount you have to make to get zero tax? 12,000, roughly so, uh, 12,000. Under 12,000, yeah. you don't pay any tax on that at all. Oh, you pay uh, national insurance, but you don't pay okay, tax. any tax. Yeah. What do you think the number is in the US for that? How many I thousands would, of dollars? I would hope like 20. Trick question, you, you'll you never not pay tax. What? <laughs> no matter how poor <laughs> you are, no matter how little you have, you will pay tax. Oh, it's a small amount. I've heard about this but before you will because you can get like, you can be like a homeless person mm -hmm. and technically you owe tax yes. on your, homeless beggings. Yes. That is yes. totally mad. I like that in the UK, you do get like 12 grand of yeah, tax free like, income. So that's if you're a not really doing well. big, like we, we mm -hmm. complain about our country a lot and there are plenty of things that can be improved, but it's a really big deal that we have. If you're say a teacher or something and you're earning in the range of like 20,000, 25,000 a year, that, that half your salary is non-taxable. Like yeah. that's a big deal that we need to be really grateful for. Obviously there can be things that will be better and we will have Work progressive on. change, but it's a really big Once deal. Once we leave the EU. <laughs> Basically, if you make up to around $10,000, you pay 10% interest. The idea that you're earning $10,000 and you're already paying tax is just disgusting. Well, you can't live on that. If you're making up to $39,000, we pay 12%. Yeah. What would you guys pay for that in the UK? So up to something like the mid 40,000s, we pay 20% tax. Yes, and then on top of that is... 40% tax. 40%. Yeah, between 40 something thousand and about 150,000. Is 40%. Yeah. Well, if we wanted to be taxed in the US for 40% of our money, you just can't, no matter how much you make. It will never get that high. You guys at 40,000 okay. get that. So you've got a super conservative government. Yes. Okay, so this, the, there is a good thing in there, which is that in the UK, we don't have a tiered system above 150,000. Yeah. So like if you're earning between 150,000 and 20 million a year, you're in the same tax bracket. Which but it's is still 40%. Like, it's a high tax bracket. Yeah, that's the key thing. It's a high tax bracket. And we've had crazy high tax brackets in the past. Mm -hmm. There's been like 85% tax in some of the tax bans in the UK at points in history. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That makes sense. That's why I think the song Tax Man by the Beatles is about. It's about how they were making loads of money and the tax man just took it all. Speaking of earning lots of money, hey look, a spawn. Hey, you guys make videos? Come with me, I got something to show you. As a creator, there's nothing more important on the technical side of videos than the audio. And nothing quite brings down a video like bad royalty-free music. You know the type. Hi there, so recently my channel's experienced a huge growth.
Yeah, let's not talk about it. And that's why today I'm happy to be sponsored by Licked. Licked allow you to license actual commercial music. Not a MIDI remix, not a similar sounding song, but actual real life music that you'd hear on the radio. They've got Beck, Snow Patrol, they've got, oh, they've got the Kinks. I mean, who doesn't, am I right? No. Sorry. If I wanted to license a song, it'd be as simple as finding something that'll fit my video. So usually for my travel vlogs, I like to use a bit more chill and atmospheric or sometimes electronic music. So I'm gonna check out the chill section here. Let's try one out. I feel like this might be a little bit too slow for what I'm going for, so I'll pick something else. Ooh. Yeah, so I really like the tropical vibe this one has, so I think I'm just going to go over to the license button right here and license it right there. You only charge for licensing based on how many views you get in your videos, so if you're a smaller creator, this can work out really well in your favor. Luckily, my travel channel is pretty small, and also, luckily for you, if you're one of the first 30 people to click the link in the description box below, you can get a free song on Licked licensed for any of your videos and 50% off of your second one. So thank you very much to Licked for sponsoring this video, and without further ado, let's get back into the Texas. Now, to anyone thinking that these numbers look nice when we move to the US to save money, that's just the US's federal income tax. We also have state taxes. Right. We also have local taxes. Yes. We also and have property taxes. That doesn't include any free healthcare as well. Correct. However, <laughs> you do get a deductible. Speaking of deductibles, if you pay for health insurance, if as a self-employed person, 100% of the health insurance cost, your premium, can get deducted. Wow, what a tiny little <laughs> good thing in a sea of crap. <laughs> you also can deduct your state tax from your federal income tax. Okay. If you went to school after high school, $2,000 off. That's pretty nice as a deductible. Wait, $2,000 off a year? Yes, every year. Wow. Yeah, right? That's that kind of nice? cool. Because you're swimming in debt. So I mean, yeah, there's little yeah. things. But <laughs> the, the whole goal with these deductibles is try and decrease your tax bracket to pay as little as possible. Sure. Also, if you have a child, you get $2,000 per child per year. Wow. All right, cool. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have 20 children. <laughs> that's what people do. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what people say. Nice. And then also, all of your gym bills can be deducted if what? your doctor said you need to go to the gym. Just get a signature. Cool. Really so basically, cool. there's a lot of ways you can get your tax bracket down. Yeah. But you have to do a lot of work to do this. Yeah. And you have to have a good accountant, which costs money. Your accountant, I assume, is off your tax bill, though. I believe that is there. Yes, you do get money off for your tax preparation. Great news. <laughs> the goal is, if you do it yourself, you might miss some cool stuff that can give you extra money, all these deductibles. But your accountant will actually make you more than you spend on them. That's the goal. It's a kind of weird system, though, where basically, like, they're like, okay, your taxes will be really low, but also everything that you hold dear will be privatized, so you'll have to spend your wage on it. But then, all the things that you hold dear will then be tax deductible. Well, why not just make them public then? If you're gonna privatize the healthcare system, but then give pe people money off their taxes because you privatize the healthcare system, you may as well just be paying for the healthcare system directly. Yes. 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 But? Rich people, that's <laughs> why. Just in case anyone's curious, because I am an American expat living in the UK, I do have to pay taxes in both countries. It's like a double taxation clause, but there's a foreign income exclusion. So as long as you're not making over a hundred grand, which I am not, hmm. you don't really have to pay. If you're making 101, do you then pay tax on the entire amount? No, 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 amount? just the extra. Okay, cool, yes. I was gonna say, <laughs> imagine if someone was like, giving you a pound coin and you were like, no, please, please, you'll take me over the tax bracket. Say in the UK, you're making 11,999 pounds and the limit is 12,000. People think that if you earn one pound over 12,000, you then pay tax on the full amount and you actually would pay tax on the pound, the extra pound. And similarly, if you earned 46,000, for example, and the limit's 45, for example, then you would only pay the higher rate of tax on the extra thousand that you earned over the tax bracket, not 40% of 46,000 pounds. Why don't because, they teach this in school? Yeah, well, exactly. And then you have in the UK self-employed, which is like essentially what you were talking about in America, where like- We can deduct stuff. Yeah, I as a self-employed person, say I earn 30 grand in a year, and I spend 10,000 pounds on camera equipment and lighting and That's Mac. Like hardcore and like, budgeting you did there. Sure, like I'm just <laughs> throwing numbers out, right? That would mean that I had earned a profit of 20,000 pounds and I would then be paying tax on 20,000 pounds. Not on 20,000. 12,000 pound allowance, so I'd be paying tax on 8,000 pounds at a rate of 20%. It's a really interesting way of doing it because it really encourages individuals to become self-employed people mm -hmm. and eventually, to start businesses. When you really learn about tax stuff and not just understand how PAYE it works, which is one tiny bit of the UK tax code, it's a really interesting world. And some of the stuff like VAT, for example, m allows people to take risks and be slightly less likely to lose loads of money. 
Well, if you're interested in learning more about VAT and some more of sales tax and state tax in the US, subscribe or click here. We have a second video coming out next week. Hope you're interested in taxes. Or, Luke, you made a documentary recently. I made a documentary. Click that. It's great. Please click it and watch it now. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.